I just mentioned Bewley's. Uh, it was started by the Bewley family, uh, Quakers, well over, I think, 100 years ago, I should think. And uh, I had an aunt, my Aunt Bunny. She might have been called something else, perhaps, but that's what I knew her as. And she sang in the choir in, in Holt as well. But by the way, she worked all her life in Bewley's. The staff there had lovely uniforms. And uh, I have great memories of my father, Lord Merston, uh, bringing myself and my brother, and I don't remember my sister going in, uh, certainly the brother, the two of us going in all right. I think uh, the sister must have been maybe too young. And uh, so so uh, he brought, brought us in, and uh, we went in on the train and had a run up around the train. And then we went into Beauties, which was a much smaller street. Uh, in we went, and uh, down the stairs as quick as a flash uh, to, to wash our hands and use this uh, hot air that the, the only one I think in the country at the time that you could put your hands in and, and the hot air come up one way and down another. It, uh, I never saw it like before since. It was lovely. And so we'd be down there, then we'd come back and my aunt buddy, uh, she would always put it at a special table. Uh, it was like uh, a boot. And she'd come over and she'd have a, a tear, a one in the bar and, and, and top cakes, cream cakes, I forget whether it was tea or what the heck we had, but that was heaven as far as we were concerned. That was a treat that didn't happen too often, but when it did happen, it, you, 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 I still remember it mm -hmm. with joy in Westmoreland Street. And even when then I was growing up and working and done myself, many a visitor put into it and my aunt Bunny was still there. Here you are again, she say. Sit over there. We look after you in a minute. Mm -hmm. It was just one of those stores that you couldn't be happy with. And the Beauty family looked after their staff something great. Uh, they got a pension, I believe, and not alone a pension, but they got some kind of a bonus at Christmas. He was a marvellous employer, uh, and, uh, and he was very good to charity as well. They were Quakers. But marvelous human beings. Just for anybody who doesn't know what a Quaker is, what's a Quaker? Well, it's a Quaker. It's it's a it's a kind of religion. It's not a it's, it's a Quakers. They're they're very peaceful. 
they're, they're, peace, they're, it's, it's, they're a peaceful organisation and they have meetings in what they call meeting rooms. Oh, really? Uh, that kind of thing. And I don't know whether uh, they, they say prayers or what, but they are charitable, very charitable. That is their, their modus operandi. So they are good people, and certainly the beauties. Uh, uh, I'm sure they're up in heaven because of the good that they did, and the good that they did even to travellers at the time. Uh, Mr. Beauty himself had a room uh, that he, I think, kept for travellers, where they had offices around the corner from Westmoreland Street, in Fleet Street, I think. And uh, when they weren't being well looked after at the time, uh, because what they used to do was mend pots and so on and so forth, so uh, they, they, they wouldn't have gotten any hand out from anyone, but certainly Beauty was good to them. I don't know precisely what he was doing, but he was good. Uh, so that was Beauties in Westmore Street, and they had other stores, but and Grafton Street was another uh, gem, and that's where we were today. Uh, what they used to have too in Beauties was, there used to be two men with white aprons in, kind of visible in the windows, and they were always blending coffee. They had this, they used to call themselves Beauties Oriental C Cafes, and had lovely glass work, and, Obviously, people must have had to. They must have had to get it specially done and paid money to craftspeople to design these because there was beautiful designs on them, uh, nearly like a church. Well, not quite like a church, but that kind of quality. The woodwork was even bad. The tables was good quality. There was nothing shoddy, no plastic there. Thank you very much. That's right. Yeah. Oh, not a thing. Everything was in in proper cups and teapots. We had tea there today in Beauties, a pot of tea with a lovely breakfast uh, at about uh, before 12 because after 12 they don't serve it. We had a lovely light breakfast which was plenty, rasher, scramble homemade two slices of brown bread, black and white pudding, beautiful, two sausages, a lovely crispy rasher presented, lovely. I think I cleaned the plate. And uh, I think I polished off something belonging to you because you, you didn't tuck into your black pudding. <laughs> I tucked it into it for you, so I had two pieces of black pudding. I, I must be a Protestant. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, white pudding is there, so I, no, um, black pudding is, I love black pudding. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, made by this famous black pudding made by Clonic Kilty. Yeah. Clonic Kilty County Cork. You can't beat it because it, it is one of the Dedicacies uh, produced in that marvellous county, Clonic County. I was in it, a lovely seaside town. I was very fond of it. And another one that I was very fond of was, was Killarney and Trilly and them places. And what's that one? It's like Dingle. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gawking at the Atlantic and you can just wave across it to could see in America. How was things over there? It's a, you know what I'm saying? As you go in, there's a lovely open fire to your right. Now you're talking. They're going to be done away with, by the way, with this crowd of uh, idiots that's following the EU dictates about this climate nonsense. You're talking about the uh, the new law, but uh, new uh, new houses can't have a no chimney. Fireplaces, no fireplaces. No fireplaces. Uh, now here we have fireplace, and it's so it's so friendly when you walk in. Welcoming, yeah. It gives you a up lift, and we were very well served in in the place, and the staff very friendly, and all nicely attired as they were years ago. As a matter of fact, I'm going to finish up this little ditty about about uh, Beauties and Stevens Green with we'll, the famous song, the Dublin song. Yeah, we'll, come, we'll just come back to that in a minute. So the actual um, atmosphere in there is really, really, really nice. Um, the stained glass was really, really nice. That's right. That's what they're speaking about. They that, make so. they make um, all the cakes. Everything's made on site. They don't actually buy anything in. Nice, really good. And lovely looking cakes. Yeah, really nice looking cakes. You know, fresh and, ones. Um, Overall, I was really, really impressed. The toilets are really clean. They've kept some of the old artifacts as well, I noticed. And um, if you look, it's, it's, I think it's either in the basement or at the top, I see, at the very top floor. They've actually kept on to, in a storeroom, just inside a door there. They have the old cast iron tables that were there probably since it opened in the Correct. beginning. Yeah. They didn't actually get rid of them. I actually oh, got a no, photograph no, and I'll show it. Thanks for the goodness, because yeah. that's what you want. Yeah. And the building from the front is really, really nice. It's really designed so well. It's one of those lovely old buildings in Grafton Street. And Thanks for the God, it was close for a bit, but they, it, it, they kept the, the, the appearance. They didn't butcher it. Yeah. It still looks the same as it ever did. Yeah. 
and inside as well. So maybe you might sing us that tune, John Malone. Well, I will, uh, because uh, you can't have been visiting Stephen's Green and Grafton Street without thinking of the famous Dublin Saunter. And it was sung very successfully by that famous bearded actor called Noel, Noel Purcell. He used to drive around, he lived in Sandyman, he used to drive around Dublin in a Jaguar. He was like royalty, he used to always have his hand out the window waving to people. <laughs> But I didn't know, may you rest in peace. I enjoyed your, 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 your company and I, I enjoyed meeting you here and there, which I did. Now, what you hear? Dublin can be heaven with coffee at eleven and a stroll in Stephen's Green. Grafton Street uh, and a stroll in Stephen's Green. You're a king and the ladies are queen. Grafton Street's a wonderland, there's magic. In the air, there are diamonds in the lady's eyes and gold dust in her hair. And if you don't believe me, come and meet me there in Dublin on the sunny summer's morning. In beauties, I've been north and I've been south and I've been east and west. I've been just a rolling stone. Uh, but there's one place on the set I love, I really love the best. Uh, just a little spot I call my own. Dublin can be heaven with coffee at eleven and a stroll in Stephen's Green. There's no need to worry, there's no need to hurry. You're a king and the ladies are queen. Graft the streets of Wonderland, there's magic in the air. There are diamonds in the ladies' eyes and gold dust in her hair. I think I spotted one there today. I think you did. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the Dublin song. Now, there's a few more lines. I, I won't, uh, I, I'm sure there might be on course out there that I don't hear about, but I'll spare them that. I'll save it for another day. That's it. Thank you very much, John. You're most welcome. <laughs>